Okay, so this is today's 100 subscriber special. It's a um, aerial reconnaissance camera from World War II. Um, I'm told this may have come out of a Lancaster or something like that. Um, they were certainly fitted to things like um, you know, a lot of our bombers uh, and uh, even mosquito bombers. Um, it's uh, got a huge great lens in it, which is a thorium lens, thorium glass lens. So uh, do keep it covered in aluminium foil and keep it in the garage. Uh, it's a 178mm lens, Aero Ektar um, Kodak lens. And one of these cameras would have cost probably about as much as a car, I'm told, in World War II. Uh, they were very expensive things to make, but they needed the high quality images it took with this medium format, 24 volt spun or mechanically wound um, film to uh, understand, you know, sort of bomb damage assessment or reconnaissance of where the, I don't know, V2 bunkers were or whatever um, and some of the heavy lifting was done with these cameras. The US had an even bigger thing um, and this was a sort of development of that really uh, but um, apparently very effective you know I think uh, the use of aerial reconnaissance and photography uh, really did play a you know, vital part in World War II. So um, an interesting artifact. I um, It does fire, it does click um, but uh, it needs a bit of WD-40 or something because uh, it doesn't. I can't get it to go at the moment. Or I wind up. I have to have a petal with it. But it does say after 10,000 uh, cycles, it should be uh, <laughs> should be serviced anyway. So uh, there you are. It's a uh, last bit of interesting thing. This is made of wood, um, painted olive green for camouflage. Quite why you need camouflage at 6,000 feet, I don't know. But uh, there's the K24. Uh, aircraft camera world war ii vintage with an enormous chlorinated fluorinated thorium lens or whatever uh, so uh, that go brown over time uh, apparently you leave them in the sun they clear up but uh, some photographers use this lens even now to take amazing pictures um, uh, but they take it out of this camera and put it on some other mounting uh, but if you look online you can see some some enthusiasts do with this lens but uh, yeah, it's uh, just an unusual artifact anyway, it's rough enough.